Good morning, Dad. It's Tuesday, August 16th. Glad to hear you made it to Alabama safely. Those were some really great shots from the plane window in your last video. I always love getting the window seat on flights. Since it's only a few weeks till the start of classes, I figured I'd do a video giving some general college advice to you and to any other incoming freshmen. Number one, join clubs. And clubs are a great way to meet new friends uh, when you go to a new school. Number two, budget your meal points. You don't want to get to the end of the semester and either have way too many, you'll never get through them, or even worse, not have any left and not be able to buy food. That's just terrible. Number three, go to class. First, in most classes, I think it's the best way to actually learn the material. Sure, you might be able to catch up in the textbook, but if you go to class, you can ask questions if anything's unclear, and then you can always supplement that by then reading the textbook some more. Perhaps more importantly, you might miss announcements about upcoming assignments or exams, and then you're not going to even know that you need to do it. Speaking of textbooks, number four, try shopping around for your textbooks. Five? Yeah, five, okay. Actually check your college email, or if you have a site like Blackboard or Elms that your professor is posting announcements and homework assignments and stuff on, you should try to check that somewhat regularly. You don't want to miss anything. Number six, if you find you're struggling in any of your classes, you should be able to get help somewhere on campus. First, I'd recommend starting with your professor or TA's office hours. Most colleges also have some kind of like a writing center or sometimes they have tutoring systems. Number seven, mental health. There can be a lot of pressure for you to do well in your classes, but if you ever find you are having trouble coping mentally and emotionally, there are resources out there to help. Your campus should have some kind of health center or counselors that are there to help you, but they won't be able to help you unless you ask for it. So it's really important if you are feeling like that in any way and you feel like you might need help, ask. On a less serious note, eight. Take advantage of the events on campus. Depending on the size of your school, there might be different sporting events, um, concerts, comedians. If you want to do something fun and interesting one night to take a break from studying, there's probably something going on. You just need to find it. Nine, roommates. Some people get really lucky and end up being best friends with their roommates all throughout college, while other people end up having to move because they just cannot make it work. Whether you love or hate your roommate, it can be really difficult adjusting to living in a single room with another person. When things get tough dealing with each other, I think it's really important to remember John Green's advice. Imagine each other complexly, use your words, and while doing that, try to compromise and come up with a solution you can both live with. 10. Sign up for your campus's emergency alert system. They'll send you alerts for uh, severe weather, emergency closings, fire department activity, police department activity, and if in the rare case they have to lock down campus for some reason, then you definitely want to be receiving that alert. 11. Adult responsibly. For a lot of people, this is the first time living away from their family, and so enjoy that freedom, but enjoy it responsibly. If you want to avoid scurvy, try to eat vegetables or fruit occasionally, and make sure that when you're up late either studying and or partying, you try to get at least a little bit of sleep every now and then. I have no idea what number we're on. 12. Know your campus. Depending on which school you go to, walking alone at 3 a.m. across campus, you can be perfectly fine. Other campuses, not so much. Know the area, know what's safe and what's not safe. And if you do need to walk home at 3 a.m. and you don't have anyone to walk with, I think a lot of campuses have some, some service you can call to get like a campus police or somebody to walk with you. Um, so just keep that in mind. Stay safe. 13. Diner trays make excellent sleds. Might not be applicable in Alabama, but it's great. 14. Consider getting a mattress topper. Dorm room mattresses can be terrible, but you'd be surprised how much a good quality mattress topper can improve that. 15. When signing up for courses, consider your course load. Don't take more credits than you're comfortable with, but also don't take too few. Try to level out the harder courses with some easier ones. 16. Plan out your next semester when the course catalog becomes available and make sure you sign up for classes as early as you can. A lot of the more popular classes will fill up fast. And lastly, 17. Campus resources. Depending on the size of your school, there'll be different amounts of resources available. 
uh, from like the writing center that I mentioned before, usually a gym of some kind, it's also usually a health center, the library. Schools also have career centers which can help you writing resumes or finding internships. You're probably only there for four years or so, so take advantage of their resources while you're there. That, I hope you found some of that advice useful. Good luck getting ready for the semester. Don't forget to be awesome and I'll see you on Friday.